Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you all here with me today. It is Friday. I am so excited for the weekend. So today I'm going to be playing with my painty papers. Once again, I'm going to be creating four postcards. These postcards are blanks that I bought on Amazon. I will see if I can find them and link them in the description box down below. They are five and a half inches by four inches and typically um, a postcard is six inches by four. This is still um, an appropriate size for a postcard and it's really cool because they came in really bright colors and then the back is already um, there's a spot for the stamp and to put the address and all that kind of stuff. So I really like them. Normally I use a four by six, but like I said, these are four by five and a half, um, which is totally fine. So what I'm doing here is just gluing all four of these to the back of my painting papers. And then I will um, cut them apart. So they fit exactly on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So that's why I was able to make four of these with one sheet of paper. And that's why I chose to use these postcard blanks um, because they were five and a half inches by four and they fit on, on the postcard or on the paper. So I did do a community um, a poll on my community tab asking if you guys would like a tutorial on how I make my painty papers. I did do two videos or one video, I can't remember, no two, two videos for the glue crew um, showing how I make my painty papers, but I realized there's a lot of you that would also like to see that. So if you would like to see that, head over to my community tab. You can find that on my main page. Just click, you know, the relax cut glue icon there and it'll take you to my home page and then you see at the top there there's several different options it says home videos playlists shop community and membership um if you're a glue crew member the membership is where you go that's where i post things just for you and then the community tab is for everybody and that's where you'll find the poll so go go answer yes or no whether you'd like uh to see me do that so I'm absolutely obsessed with my painting papers. Um, as you guys can tell, I've been using them a lot. I really enjoy the process of doodling them and, or not doodling them, doodling on them and making them more vibrant. I just, I really love these and I love to use uh, them in my art. And it's so fun. And it's great for like all ages too. Like kids can do it, adults, elderly, um, you know, all kinds of, all ages, you name it, you can do it. So what I'm using to embellish all four of these are some Tim Holtz, uh, butterfly, what do you call them? Let me look, hold up. They're called transparent wings. Um, yeah, that's what they're called. They're Tim Holtz transparent wings. And these were gifted to me by my friend, Melissa, um, a couple years ago, as well as the Tim Holtz paper dolls. Now these are the bigger paper dolls and I wanted them so bad and I mentioned it and then boom, they showed up on my doorstep by Melissa. I just, Mel, you're the best. You just spoil me rotten. Um, so I'm really excited to use those. I haven't used very many of them yet because I've been kind of hoarding them. You guys know how I get. Once I get something I really like and it's new, sometimes I really want to dive in and play and then other times I want to hoard it for a little bit. There's no rhyme or reason. <laughs> Um, I really love these transparent wings. I've used them quite a bit. So I thought I would add some transparent wings to these um, little cuties here. And the reason why I wanted them to be transparent is I wanted to see the background of my paper. I didn't want to use something that would take away from the art that I created, which is why I'm, I'm making these a little bit more simple. I'm adding one paper doll, one set of wings, and a quote. Um, one of my paper dolls does not have wings. I decided not to give that one wings, but uh, the other three will. Spoiler. <laughs> so this one says, I have absolutely no desire to fit in. And girl, I could not agree more. At least now in my 40s. When I was a kid, of course I wanted to, but you know, now I could care less. <laughs> 
I'm using a Posca pen now, and this is what I'm using to go around all the words just to kind of um, give them, well, how do I, to ground them so they don't look like they're just floating there in midair. Um, I feel like it looks a lot better. Look how cute she is. Oh my gosh, love it, love it. So today is Cinco de Mayo. What are you guys doing? Is, are you guys making any kind of special food or anything like that? Uh, we are. My husband, you know, proudly announced it's Cinco de Mayo. And what do we want to have for dinner? <laughs> and so I'm going to make my, I call it burrito bake. It's just something that I created. Basically, it's like enchiladas. Um, and my family loves it. And I've showed a few pictures a few times on the glue crew of the food that I make and stuff because, you know, we like to make good stuff. Yesterday, I made um, chicken. It's like a chicken stroganoff. It is by far the best thing I probably have ever made in my life. Um, I made it a lot for my parents when my dad was sick. I, it's one of those things that I, um, I give to, you know, like, I'll make for people when they're, you know, sick or had surgery and you're dropping off a meal. Um, I've also made it, like, on my girls' trips and stuff like that. It's just really good. And then the day before that, we made homemade chicken strips. And oh my gosh, we can never eat a chicken strip from anywhere ever again in our entire lives because the homemade ones are so much better. They were so good. Um, yeah, so I don't know why I'm telling you everything we ate this week, but <laughs> that's what we're doing. Oh, and we had cheeseburgers and all homemade. We don't eat out very often. Um, for a while there on Wednesdays, we would have, because um, that's our cl family cleaning day, so we would do pizza just because, you know, we're all cleaning and stuff all afternoon um, and things like that. So, yeah, but ever since Bob's surgery, we haven't really been doing that just because uh, we're all home and we can clean kind of whenever we need to. I don't know why I just felt like telling you guys that. Man, I'm just a rambling today. Yesterday was so stormy. It was absolutely insane. Um, it was lightning and thunder. Oh my gosh. Zena hated it. Um, she's a lot better now than she was even a year ago. Uh, but then we had like the fighter jets going over and those are so loud. They're so close to the house. It's just insane. So yeah, she had a rough day yesterday, but we all enjoyed having a stormy Stormy afternoon, you know, that's my jam. And for those of you who have been asking about my husband, Bob, he had surgery uh, last month and he is still home. He has not gone back to work yet. Um, and he had a few rough days last week, um, pretty rough. And the last two days he's been doing really well. So that's encouraging. Um, but, you know, we were told this would be a very long recovery process, and boy, has it been. I mean, for him, I mean, I, yes, I'm exhausted because I'm having to, you know, do more because obviously he can't, there's only so many things he can do. But obviously, this whole process has been way harder on him than any of us because he's the one that had the surgery and is recovering. Um, I mean, it's been nice having him home because my husband works all the time. And he rarely takes time off. So it's been kind of nice to have him here, even if he is just, you know, recovering. It's not like we're out doing things or anything, you know. But, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to all of you who have been asking about how he's doing and stuff still. Um, he's doing great. And he's recovering one day at a time. I love these postcards. Have I said that already? I'm sure I have. Because you know what? They're the bomb.com. I love them. I'm thinking I'm going to send these out. And I do get asked this quite a bit when I do postcard videos if I cover them in anything. And yes, I do. I usually cover them in um, matte medium. So you can use Mod Podge, matte, um, it tends to not, for me, and I know people have different varying opinions on the Mod Podge mat. Some people say it feels sticky. Um, I've never had that problem. Mine never come out sticky at all, ever. And I don't know if that's because I'm on the West Coast or how that works, but never had a problem. So that works really well. Or I use um, Liquitex. Is that what it's called? Liquitex, right? Yep. Liquitex Matte Medium. Um, I've never used a spray to 
kind of protect them, but you could. I just don't have one to recommend because I don't go that route. I just use kind of like a silicone brush and brush on some matte medium. So now I'm, so I did two girls and two boys. Well, I did one boy, one man, and then two girls. He's so cute. Look at that little guy. And then what I didn't show um, that I did afterwards is I really lightly, um, I have like a really light pink um, alcohol marker and I use that to add little um, like blush on the cheeks. So that look turned out really good. What in the world is this guy doing? He just pulled down, he's driving down the street, stopped in the front of my house, just sat in the middle of the road and then just backed up going down the street. <laughs> what? What a crazy guy. So I'm using um, my art glitter glue here and then on the wings, I used a glue stick. Um, Art glitter glue dries clear, so I'm sure I could have used it and it would have been fine. However, I know that the glue stick, I just feel like it worked better. Um, but I don't know. I, I have not tried using the art glitter glue on the wings. Sherman's in here snoring. I'm sure you can hear him. He's just all squishy and cute in his little spot. And I did decide to round my corners because that's just how I roll. I like to do it. There's no wrong or right way to do it. So if you feel like rounding your corners, please do so. If you don't, you don't. There's no wrong, there's no wrong way to make an art postcard or any art for that matter. So I do, like I said, I do think I'm going to send these out. Um, I definitely want to make some more over the weekend. I think it would be really fun to just kind of send a whole bunch out. I did want to let um, most of the winners of my giveaway, your packages have been mailed. If you have contacted me, then your package has been mailed. I'm really excited for you guys to get them. I hope you guys love your glue folios because I'm obsessed with mine. And you know, another idea I was thinking would be really cute. I commented on one of my glue crew members, Robin. Um, she's an avid book reader. She loves books. Um, hi, Robin. She was talking about the glue folio and I thought, you know what? It would make a really good reading journal. You could, you know, collage little reading things on the little cards and then you could use the papers to jot down um, all the books you've read or maybe each page is for a book and then you could write what you liked about it, what you didn't like or whatever. All right, guys, that's going to conclude today's video. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Don't forget to drink your water. It's really important. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.